minutes. Tomorrow morning at 10 here on King 5. This weekend at the Bellevue Embassy Suites, the Grand Masters of Filipino stick and blade fighting have gathered to demonstrate their ancient craft. Michael King introduces us to a little known martial art. We play. They don't claim to be faster than a speeding bullet, but if fists, sticks, knives, or even swords are involved, no problem. That's it. An estimated 2,000 people from all over the globe are expected to attend this World Filipino Martial Arts Expo to learn more about Arnis, a 2,000-year-old martial art. Probably the biggest uh, difference is that while karate or kung fu or taekwondo trains for many years before they involve weapons, uh, the student of Arnis, Eskrima or Kali, starts immediately with weapons. Headmaster Punong Guro Hufana's great-grandfather was a Spanish priest in the Philippines who used to hold sparring sessions under the convent after church. The family tradition continues three generations later. The great-grandson says his training gives him confidence, not arrogance. I'm still always aware. You know, I, I can't second-guess anyone or underestimate. Hufana's never been seriously injured while practicing Arnis. He says if you train the mind first, the body will follow. You respect the weapon. It is a dangerous, but it's only dangerous in the hands of someone who doesn't know. So your thought for the day, respect the weapon. In Bellevue, Michael King, King 5 Sports. Thank you, Michael. A stick and dagger fighting tournament will be held tomorrow in Bellevue. Just a reminder that there's so much more going on there outside of <laughs> baseball, basketball, football, so many other interesting sports. And there's one of them. Want them yeah. to be my friends. But this is the first weapon he was talking about. That's right. <laughs> Do you have that dress on?